Alright, so I've got the Zero Master on the machine and I've uh, set the Zero Master to zero on the Y axis. I've got my little MPG here set up to start movement and I'm going to zero out my DRO to figure out the uh, amount of backlash that I have on my machine by comparing when the Heimer uh, kicks in and, and then looking at the DRO to see how much it moved. So if I move the MPG, I just keep an eye on the Heimer. So it just moved ever so slightly and I have basically 52 thousandths. So I used that as my backlash compensation in the setup menu, a little Y axis. Use that as my backlash compensation. 5-2. And now I should be able to get uh, I should be able to make it so that it doesn't it doesn't show up as backlash any, any longer. Uh, we're gonna run a little quick test here and get this back to zero. Okay, so we're on zero, uh, DRO to set to zero, and we approach going this way, so we're going to back up the other way. And it kicks in immediately, uh, showing that it's got four tenths uh, movement, and it's indicating probably clo close to that. Uh, the Heimer is in metric 0 0.01 millimeters, so we've got two and a half, roughly two and a half millimeter, uh, 0.025 millimeters, which is close to the four tenths, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in any case, um, that's how I set the backlash compensation.